I'm Ian Bremmer and welcome to G Zero World. I'm here in Disney, Orlando, Florida. There are children literally everywhere. We are gating them away so I can have this small area of personal sanity and bring to you this week the former prosecutor of Southern District of New York. That's right, Preet Bharara. We've got puppet regime and right now your world this week. I'm gonna start with Hawaii. Don't usually do that, but in this case, for 38 heart-wrenching moments, the citizens of Hawaii thought that a North Korean ballistic missile was incoming and they had to call their loved ones, or not if they didn't have any. Um, the point is that we've got technology that people increasingly don't understand, can't really deal with. You remember when Trump was off of Twitter for 11 minutes, that was just one guy with a button. Here you have one guy with a button that presses it and suddenly everyone thinks that they're about to blow up. Look, part of the problem here um, is that we have so ratcheted up tensions with the North Koreans that people do believe that nuclear war is thinkable um, and that uh, we might be facing uh, an ICBM coming our way. That doesn't take 38 minutes, by the way, from North Korea. It's probably between 20 and 30. It's going to feel better over the next few days, few weeks, because we've got the Olympics coming up and we have a joint South-North Korean female ice hockey team. I promise you they will lose very, very quickly, but it's going to feel good for a while. But after that, we're back to test and hopefully no more cell alerts. Next, President Trump not going to the United Kingdom. He says it's because about real estate and as a real estate guy, he should know, right? It's a new U.S. embassy, really expensive, about $2 billion. He blames the Obama administration. They are the ones that negotiated the price um, for uh, selling the old building, though it was originally a Bush decision. That is not why he's not going. He's not going because there were going to be really big demonstrations that were going to cause a problem, not just for him, but also for the embattled Prime Minister of the UK, Theresa May. Frankly, a good decision for both of them. If he wants a trip that goes off well, may want to go back to Riyadh. And finally, I want to tell you that word that Trump used to describe all those African countries, but uh, it's Disney and they may not let you use language like that, but you know what I'm talking about. In the United States, it's pure politics. It's Democrat versus Republican. Watch your favorite cable news channel. They'll give you the message you want. But internationally, this is not good for American influence. It's already eroding. It's fantastic for Xi Jinping. His Chinese government dominates all these African economies and uh, they don't call them bad names. They just take all their resources. They're going to do a little more of that going forward without much pushback from the United States. That's it from the Magic Kingdom. I have much better fictional characters coming your way. Puppet regime.